All right. So uh, in this example, we're gonna take a look more on swiping, uh, swiping a list, right? Uh, going to the bottom of the list, searching for some users inside that list, and uh, let's talk about. Uh, let's say I open up my mobile device and I open up the contacts, and I go to this contacts and I swipe like this right and I search for any contact and if I find that contact then I simply do a horizontal swipe and it should actually call that particular contact so this is what uh, we're gonna do uh, in this example so let's see how we are gonna do it uh, I've already uh, this uh, like if I execute this, uh, you'll be able to see this that uh, this is also possible and through APM and uh, this time we're gonna do it with the JavaScript executor. We have seen there is a method uh, for swiping, but this time I'm gonna do it with the JavaScript executor. So it see it is actually swiping an element. It's actually searching for an element. I have given the element over here. Uh, let me show you. So the element uh, is basically uh, with the name that I've given to this element is ads, right? There's a contact with this name. So what it will gonna do? It will search till the time that contact is not found. And when the contact is found, see this is the contact and it is actually printing all these contacts over here okay let let it do its work and let's see see it has actually uh, horizontally swiped on that although it didn't uh, made any call right but uh, uh, this is because I have given the swipe duration as one second. If I change it to two seconds, then uh, if I go over here and change it to, uh, let's say, swipe for two seconds, and then run the code again. Oh, okay. Let me start the Appium server once again. And let me rerun this code. So it will again search for that element and this time it will actually swipe for two seconds. And, and if you see over here in the console it is actually printing these names as well right okay uh, just one second I thought it was clicking on that. See, this time it is actually calling this number. All right. So this is how when we change uh, the duration in uh, for uh, swiping the element, it actually uh, performs the ex perform exactly the same thing. And this time we have achieved it using the JavaScript executor. Earlier we have seen how we can swipe using the internal methods of the APM driver, right? This time we have done it using JavaScript executor. So let's see how we can code this functionality in this module.